previously on Exentrovert. Bro, Steven, look out for that train. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look out, Steven. Oh, shit. Oh, God. No. Huh? What the? Where am I? Hello, Gregory. What the frick? Who said that? I am the subconscious form of your mind, thoughts, and dreams, but you can call me conscience. Wait, what? You're my conscience? I'm talking to my conscience. Indeed you are. You are currently suffering from serious injuries from an accident, causing your mind to go into a coma and become trapped here in the dream. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Did you just say I'm in a coma? How the frick did this happen? What I'm trying to explain to you right now is that the life you have lived for what may seem like the past few months is all a lie. When you were first brought into the coma, you were placed into the id realm, the part of your brain that functions off dreams, pleasures, and desires. Everything you saw up until this point represented everything you desire your life to look like. Also, if that was the id realm, are there any other realms in my conscience? There are three realms in your brain's conscience. The id realm, the ego realm, and the super ego realm. In order to get to the ego realm, you must go through the super ego realm. And in order to awake from your coma, you must go through all three. So I guess my next stop is the super ego realm. That is correct. The super ego realm is based on your mind's cautious sense of reality and awareness. The opposite of the id. So basically, once I find out and accept what bothers me in life, I can go to the ego realm, right? That is also correct. Once you have completed this task, you will be moved into the ego realm, where after you've completed that task, you may awaken from your coma and return to your everyday life. Alrighty then. Next stop, the super ego realm. 